I'm out here in Alaska on an elective externship for three weeks, which is just some real hands-on clinical time that I wouldn't get necessarily, you know, staying in the school-based clinics. If I have the opportunity, you know, just kind of see how dentistry is practiced in different elements. Keep that pressure gauze in there. When that wears off, you might get a little bit more bleeding. Mm -hmm. In that case, put yeah. some more gauze in there. Yeah. The area we serve in Alaska would be known as the Lower Kuskokwim. We're servicing an area about the size of Oregon, centered in Bethel, Alaska. There are numerous villages ranging from maybe a hundred people upwards to maybe a thousand people. Unfortunately, shortly we're going to have about five to six dentists servicing roughly 25 to 30,000 people. There's a large access to care issue due to the remoteness of where they're located. Pretty much have to travel by plane. There's, there's no roads to get here. We as dentists will actually fly out to these villages on a tiny little Cessna 207 plane. The wind was blowing, low fog, so it was quite a travel, you know, to get here. And you basically bring all your gear and you're, you're doing your best to bring as much dental services as you can to the village. People, for the most part, here live a completely different life than what we see in the lower 48. It's a fishing community and we live our life subsistence, mostly off fish. We share all our catch with our family. With my family, there's seven households. And then right now, it's the season of salmon berries. We usually try to get about 30 gallons of berries, and then the black berries would come, we'd get more, twice as much maybe. The natives had wonderfully healthy teeth with very little to any decay. But what's happened is over the years with the introduction of a Western diet, what you got is rampant decay. I've seen lots of kids with silver caps, no front teeth. They always say, yeah, they drink too much soda. Dental decay in a lot of the villages is like seven times the national average. So as a dental student, that's a great opportunity to see some stuff you're not going to see in other places and your service is really needed. I had a patient back in Bethel that in between their teeth they had decay in all of them. All those green dots are all the cavities you have. But once it gets halfway through the enamel, that's when we have to fill in the fluoride and flossing won't fix that anymore. Now you have a caries control project on your hands. You know, you, you can't just try to put in permanent restorations. You have to get that bacteria out. That's something that they told us about in school, but you didn't really comprehend until you see it firsthand out here. I've been given the opportunity to work side by side with multiple different dentists and with that comes a great wealth of knowledge. They definitely give you the opportunity to problem solve on a treatment planning scale that you just don't see in a dental school. So that's been a great experience that I would not have gotten without being out here in Alaska. Mm -hmm.